Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Cooking with Garrett. I have my professional helper here, two-year-old Garrett, and I, and together we're making Amish friendship bread. Um, so we've already added the first part, which is our milk. Uh, so this has been added to the start. Garrett, would you mix that up for us? Stir that in really well, please. I'm making a mess. I'm not a good photographer. <laughs> it's zoomed in and I can't get it to zoom out. Hold on. Oh dear. <laughs> Hold on, people. Don't leave us yet. There's a cute face to look at. Oh no. Okay, I'll just stand back more. Okay. But it bounces around. Well, why don't you go offline and then come right back? I think I got it. Are you got it? Okay. So here you go. Mix that around for us. Get it all stirred in there really well. Uh, in making a start, it is a 10-day program uh, where you have this paper and you have a friend that gives you uh, a start, and then you add a little bit to it twice, and then on the last day, you actually prepare it. So one of the things that we're adding now is we're going to add uh, a cup of sugar and a cup of gluten-free flour. All right, Garrett, mix that around for us. Keep mixing. Huh, finally. Welcome, Kristen. Would you like some help? You want some help? Welcome, Jenny. Okay, here we go. Mixing this in. We're getting ready to put this Amish friendship bread into bags. We're going to share it. And then we'll finish the recipe and we'll make our own Amish friendship bread. Here you go. Let's see. You ready? Okay. Keep mixing, buddy. You want two spoons? You wanted a bigger spoon. You didn't want that little spoon, right? Okay. Mix that in for us. Okay. You're all ready. Now what it calls for is on the last day you add the rest of your ingredients and then you divide it so that you can share it with others. That's why it's called Amish friendship bread. It says right here, um, pour four one cup starters into Ziploc bags. So I'm going to take out four cups. Oh, you wanted to help me. Oh, you want to do it for me? You ready? Two. Well, that's not quite three. That might be three. That's probably a tablespoon and a half. So cooking with a two-year-old always is going to require a little bit of estimation at best. Tablespoons at a time. I am wondering how much is left in here. I don't have a clue. Okay, that's all we need. We're just going to go with it and see what happens here. So close the Ziploc bag. Here we go. All right, let's take this. I need this cup. Can you use a rubber spatula or no? It says wooden. It's okay. very clear about okay. wooden. Okay, now we're talking about healthy revolution, doing things just a little bit differently. And so what we've done is instead of adding oil to this recipe, we are going to add applesauce. This is homemade applesauce. Can you say applesauce, Karen? You say applesauce? And no. And not yet. So. Too shy. Did we get it all? Oh. Oh. Okay. Do you want to put that in the bowl? 
And then it says add one cup of sugar. You can do any kinds of sugar, coconut sugar, or um, regular sugar. Okay, it says one teaspoon of vanilla. You hold the spoon and I'll pour for you. Are you ready? Ready? Pour that in there. It says one half teaspoon of baking soda. So, estimating here one half. Someone buy the man some measuring spoon. Here we go. You ready? Bigger. Pour that in there for us. Bread has to be perfect. It's not going to turn out. I know. One and a half. I'm the heckler behind the video. Teaspoons of baking powder. Yes. There's one. And a half. Yes. Oh, wow. Was that supposed to go in? Oh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I just watched the table. It's good. Okay. One half teaspoon of salt. Just pour it in your hand. It'll be okay, you ready? That is perfect. That is about perfect. Garrett, can you wave to all your friends? Say, Say hello. Hi. They're right here in the camera. They're in the camera. They're in the phone. They're taking a video. They're watching you on TV. Two no, cups of flour. Help me pour that in. Hold the bowl. Ready? Oh, babe. Got a little bit in there, that's okay. All right, and three large eggs. Now I have learned from experience, put the eggs in the bowl. Eggs, eggs in the bowl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, can I help you How with this? How to go, Garrett? Hold on, hold on. Watch this. Let's get this egg out of here, okay? Oh, my stars. Hey, there's no shell in there, just so that you know. No shell. Maybe. No. Nope, there's no shell in there. Yay! Okay. Okay, teach him how to do it, babe. Hold on, hold on, buddy. I am going to get these two small pieces of shell out because there's just a little bit of shell in there. Not, not much. So if you don't know, if you use the eggshell to get the shell out, it's usually a lot easier than your finger. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Hold on. Hold on. This One. goes in there. One. Okay. Wait. Are you ready? Watch. Here we go. Wow. Okay. And then we just open it up like this. Are you ready? Can you open that up? There we go. Okay. Do you want to pour that in here? Lift up the bowl and pour it in there. Now pour it in. There we go. Okay, put the bowl down. We have one more egg to put in. Are you ready? You ready? Okay, let's get your other hand up here. You ready? Open that egg up. There it goes. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Okay, are you ready? Big bowl, please. Big bowl. There you go. Big bowl. Pour. Need help, please? Yeah. It's okay. in. It's in there. Yeah. Okay, are you ready? Can you please mix all of that in for us? Do you want help? Do you want some help? Yeah. Yeah, okay, here we go. I'll tell you, you take one spoon and I'll take the other, okay? The instructions were very specific, saying not a metal bowl and not a metal mixing spoon, but wooden. So we're keeping the gods happy and Mother Nature and everyone else by following the directions. Mm. Egg, my, what? Egg? Need more eggs? No more eggs. Yeah, we're, there's one more egg over there, but we're not, we don't need that egg. Okay? No, it just calls for three, buddy. 
This is an extra. Extra. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Wait a minute. Where are you going? I think he has something else to put in still. Okay. No, we're not eating any more Remember? eggs. No more eggs. We'll we need two teaspoons of cinnamon. Mm, yummy. Can you say cinnamon? You ready? Let's do it this way. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Let me get it for you here. And then... Here you go. You ready? One. I mean, cinnamon's not like chocolate. Chocolate, you can't have too much. But cinnamon, maybe too much. Two. Yay. Okay, can you mix all of that in for us? One half cup of milk. Should I do the baking powder? Yes, we did. Okay. You well, need some help with that? Out, we can go back and look, can't we, folks? Uh oh. What happened? Should have wore an apron. That is the first time that has happened in all of my experiences with cooking with Garrett. It splashed me. Did you do that? No, <laughs> it wasn't you. Okay. You want to help me mix, please? I have a whisk that's not metal. You don't want to mix? There's one last ingredient. The last ingredient calls for um, one large box of instant vanilla pudding. Now, we're in, we in the business of helping people make healthier choices, and so we actually have um, a vanilla-flavored um, smoothie mix. It's called Complete, and so we are going to use the Complete idea. Instead of pudding, because they, who knows what's in pudding. And this is, and I think really honestly they're using the pudding for, yeah, we're going to put it right here, for the, just the flavor. So why not use something that's healthier instead of something that you may not know what all of the ingredients are. This is made with, it's a whole food smoothie mix, so it's really, really yummy. Okay. We are almost finished. Can you help me by mixing this for just a minute, please? Can you mix that for me? We need to get the rest of this mixed in, okay? Welcome, white boys. We're glad you came. Are you, can you mix that for us? Are we gonna, is everybody getting nervous that Garrett might fall off the chair? Besides me, of course. What's next? Is it ready? Yeah. It is ready. It Hi, says, Lily. What to do next is to pour, we, everything's in. We just need to stir it. Mix it, mix it. We just need to mix it in. Everything's in there. All the eggs, the applesauce, the cinnamon, the milk, the flour, the sugar, the baking soda, baking powder, um, the vanilla, and then the smoothie mix in order to give it a little bit more kick on that vanilla flavor with healthiness in it. So are you finished mixing? You're all done? The last thing that it says to do is to, um, Pour into pans, so you, as many as you want. You bake it 325 degrees for one hour, and then you have your Amish friendship bread. Can you tell Cassie thank you for the Amish French friendship bread? Say thank you. Can you say thank you? Say thanks for watching. Say bye-bye. Can you wave bye-bye to everybody? Blow me a kiss. He wants to see himself in the video. If you turn oh. it around and then... Well, that's me. <laughs> there you go. Can, Can you, you say, say thank you to everyone? There you go. Wait, bye-bye. They didn't see your hand. Can you wait, bye-bye? Bye-bye. Till next time. Come back and see us again. Yeah. Mwah. Blow kisses? So... Yeah, no? All so right. make your Bye efforts then to make a healthy revolution in your life. Do something new for you and your family. <laughs> Have a great day.